Hey everybody, it's Sandy. Welcome back to The Wandering Sleeve. In my first video, we talked about the sleeve, the gastric sleeve that I had done in November of 2018. I gave you a bit of an overview of how I was able to have surgery and what life has been like after surgery. I will go into depth in future videos on my life as a bariatric patient, but right now I wanted to talk about the wandering part. And this is where it gets exciting. I've got this crazy idea to sell my house, quit my job, buy an RV, and just be a nomad. Pack up my dogs and get the hell out. And the closer it gets to becoming a reality, the more I talk about it, the more excited I get. I get a lot of questions. It almost sounds like people are trying to talk me out of it. Especially when I can't answer their questions. <laughs> questions like, when are you going to sell your house? I don't know. Well, what kind of RV are you going to get? I don't know. What are you going to do for work? I don't know. See, it all sort of hinges on selling the house. Because I can't afford to keep the house and buy an RV and travel. So, I need to sell the house. What I make on the house is going to cover what's left of my mortgage, the rest of my debt, and buy an RV. Right now, I'm working on repairs to the house so I can get it ready to sell. It could sell in a month. Who knows? But I can't buy that new RV until I get the money for the house. I've got a pop-up camper right now. And so the plan is, once I sell the house, I'm probably going to be living in that pop-up for, you know, a month or two until I find the right camper. I don't think it's gonna take me that long. And the right one will come along at the right time at the right price. But the type of RV I get all depends on my budget and what I can find. At first I wanted a motorhome, but the more videos I watch and the more people I listen to, the more I'm leaning towards just getting a new truck and a pull behind. That way, my living space and my transportation are separate, so if either one of them has any trouble or has to go in the shop, I'm not totally stranded. <laughs> if I find the perfect camper and it ends up being a fifth wheel, that means I need to get a bigger truck. So everything's just kind of up in the air and everything depends <laughs> on everything else. It doesn't bother me that everything's so up in the air. All that matters is I've made the decision, I'm getting closer to it becoming a reality, and I cannot wait to start this new journey, this adventure. I've got too much energy now for a desk job, and it's driving me a bit crazy. And I just want to see and do as much as I possibly can. Like I said in the first video, I have a new lease on life, a second chance, and I'm not going to waste it. I have spent so many years living on the sidelines, watching everybody else live, and it's, it's my turn. I want to live. I want to do something more with my life. I want to wake up in a new place every couple of weeks. I want to find hidden trails and hot springs and go hiking every day and spend more time in nature and outside instead of a windowless office staring at a computer screen. I want my freedom. 
and this is how I get it. And I know it's right because the more I think about it and the closer it gets, I don't feel anxiety. I don't have any doubts. That's the one thing in my life that I don't doubt right now is this decision because it just feels right. It feels like this is what I'm supposed to do. That's part of the plan. I made this decision at the end of last year that I wanted to do this and I have been working on it slowly all year. I've been researching, making plans to do a YouTube channel about my travels. I've been downsizing my house a lot. <laughs> so this is what I originally got to pack my movies in. I bought a pack of five of these bags. As you can see, they're really big. Like, I think I fit 200, about 225 movies in each bag. <sighs> yeah, that still takes up too much room. So unfortunately, we're going to downsize even more. I'm not getting rid of any more movies, but we're getting rid of the cases. I live in a three bedroom house all by myself and I filled it. And I am a master packer, so I filled it good. <laughs> I've had two garage sales. The last one was the big purge. I got rid of almost all of my furniture. There are no bookshelves or dressers or anything of that nature left in my house. I got rid of my big couch. I've just got a love seat and a recliner left in the living room with the TV and the TV stand. I got rid of my spare bed in my guest bedroom and the dresser in there. And <sighs> Right now that room is empty except for more garage sale stuff and cabinets for the bathroom that I'm about to paint this weekend because that's one of the projects I'm doing to get the house ready to sell is remodeling the bathroom. The prep work is a pain in the ass. But yeah. What are we gonna do, Harley? Trying to make as many repairs as I can by myself. But it's just me, so I don't know when I'll have it finished, which means I don't know when it's going to be listed. I would like to get it listed before the end of the year. I would like to get it listed before the end of this month, but we'll see how the bathroom goes. So people may think I'm crazy for doing it. They may be right. People go into this and you know, it's not for them, so they decide to settle back down. Some people go into this thinking I'm gonna travel for a year and then come back, and they end up staying out there for five, 10 years because they love it. You never know until you get out there and try. Some people think I'm nuts for selling my home base, but you know, that's the only way I'm gonna be able to do it. With the job I have now, and the mortgage payment and all the bills. I will never have the money or the vacation time to take a real good vacation. All my vacations now are three day weekends. And I'm not going into this completely blind because I'm not a stranger to camping. One of the YouTubers I follow never even slept in a camper before she bought her motor home and started traveling. If she can do it, I damn sure can do it. We're a camping family. I grew up camping. We started out in a tent when we were little. We graduated to a pop-up. Then we got pull-behinds. Then mom and dad got fifth wheels. Now they've graduated to their first motorhome. 
So there's us. And my mom and dad are the next, that big motorhome down there, the next spot. And we have all of this. Because we're right on the water. And we have all this space. There's a pier we were on yesterday. So that's the plan. As crazy or as wonderful as it may sound, I'm excited. And I am very excited to take you all along with me on this journey. This is why I'm the Wandering Sleeve. The majority of this channel is going to be life on the road, me and my two dogs, and life as a bariatric patient. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and if you want to get a notification whenever a new video comes out, ring that little notification bell. If you haven't watched my first video about my sleeve, please go check it out. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions, if you're traveling part-time or full-time and you have any stories you want to share or suggestions on picking the right rig or whatever you can think of, please comment below. I would love to get your feedback. Thank you all so much for joining me again. Stay tuned because adventure awaits. And until next time, be well, be happy, and be you. Really? I love you too. This is Harley Quinn. It's my baby girl. She's my walking buddy. She's gonna go on adventures with Mama. Tucker's probably not gonna go on as many adventures because he's old and he's having arthritis issues in his back legs. So, but he's still gonna get to pee on new trees every day. And it's gonna be wonderful. New smells. New sights, new sounds, new places, new experiences. Sit. You ready? Good babies. But. <coughs> really? 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 <coughs> Are you gonna come up here again? You could come up here again? You could say hi? To Look at that. Look over there. It's too dark to see your face, baby. So people may think I'm crazy. They may be a little right. And my dogs take after me.